Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool prism freeze frame effect in Final Cut Pro 10. As you can see right here, this is what the edit looks like right here. You have this really cool prism duplicate effect. I want to go over basically how to create that effect. What you're going to do right here is I'll go over to the example um, right here. And basically what you're just going to do is you're going to create a freeze frame of the second clip right here. So let's zoom in right here. You don't want to be in this frame. You don't want to be in this frame. You want to be on the first frame um, of the second clip right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead, head over here, click on hold, and you're creating a freeze frame. So you're just basically freezing the first frame of the second clip. So it's going to zoom in right here. You want to go right here and split the freeze frame and the normal clip. So let's go ahead and just minus out a little bit. We're just going to take the freeze frame layer and put it on top um, of the first clip right here. Now what you're just going to do is you're going to set the duration of this to about 20 frames so i'm just going to set it to 20 frames right here if you don't know how to don't know how to, how to know how like how long a clip is all you gotta do is click on the clip right here ignore this number ignore this number only care about the yellow numbers as you can see right here 20 frames and this is three frame uh three seconds so just in case you're wondering that's how you can tell how long um a clip is with the uh, looking at that yellow number so you can see you clicked on the clip and this is 20 frames so this is holding for 20 frames. So let's go ahead and kind of play this frame by frame right here. So you just have the first clip right here, and then the second clip pops up. We're gonna go frame go 20 frames, and then all of a sudden you go back into the second clip right here. As you can see, this first clip and this freeze frame, the first frame and the freeze frame are the exact same clips. And then it goes into and keeps playing um, the second clip. What you're gonna do next is you're gonna go ahead and go in this freeze frame right here. I'm gonna go ahead and press Command R right here. You're just gonna go to the effects panel right here. I'm gonna go to mask and apply a draw mask onto the clip right here. And all you're basically doing is you're just cutting out the person right here. I'm just gonna kind of do like a really, really rough uh, selection uh, right here. So let's go ahead and just keep on uh, kind of making this really cool um, selection um, right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of um, go around the person right here. Now it doesn't have to be a very good selection. Uh, well, I mean, once you're finished with the, once you're actually like making the final edit, then yes, it is. But just for the tutorial, I'm just going to make a very basic and very, very rough. Um, selection right here so all you're basically doing is just cutting out the subject and of course if this is like a, a, f a final edit or like a client edit or something like that obviously you don't want to have your draw mask um, look like that right there but there you go you just cut out the freeze frame right here and that's pretty much all you do and of course you can fix um, you can f obviously fix the uh, draw mask once it's like the final edit um, right here. So what you're going to do is I'm going to go in five frames. So I'm going to go so it's at 204. So one, two, three, four, five, right here, and then so it's 209. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right here, and then one, two, three, four, five, um, right here. Okay, now once you placed um, your marker, so you have one, two, three, four, five right here, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten right here, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. So what you're just gonna do now is you're basically just going to create two copies of this clip right here. So let's hold down Option right here, and we're gonna go ahead and create um, one more copy right here. So we'll go ahead and just um, rename this original right here and we'll go ahead and just um, rename this copy one and we'll just rename this one um, copy two uh, right here that way it's a lot um, less confusing so what you're just gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go um, this will go one two three four five right here and then we'll go ahead and just change the position. Uh, so we'll go ahead and press 200 um, right here. We'll go ahead 
and keyframe the position right here. And then you want to go in 10 frames and we're going to keyframe the position to zero right here. Now, all we're going to do is do the exact same thing um, right here. So let's go ahead and press the position at 400 right here. Keyframe the position right there. And let's go right here to the end um, in 10 frames. And we'll go ahead and we're going to keyframe the position to zero right here. So let's go ahead and play it right here. We'll I'll go to the beginning right here, five frames in, nothing happened. And then after t after five frames, now he basically just connects back into himself. And then there we go. You go ahead and basically play um, into the second clip. So what you're going to do right here is you're going to go to the second clip or copy one right here. We're going to go ahead and create a color board right here. New color board, take the exposure, increase the exposure, increase the saturation. We're going to turn the color to this red color right here. Now what we're going to do right here is we're going to go over to blur, add a focus blur um, right here. Then we're going to add a prism blur um, right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on this middle clip right here. Head over to the effects panel right here where the uh, focus blur is fine. We'll change the prism blur to 77 and we'll change the angle to 180 um, right there. Now you may ask yourself, okay, so how do I get it onto all my other clips? We'll go ahead, press on the clip, press command C, command C, and then go to the next clip and press shift command V. Shift command V is how you paste effects. So let's go ahead and just get rid of the transform, get rid of the draw mask, and we just want the color board one focus and prism right here. There we go. We just place, we just copy the prism blur um, to the video right here. So let's go ahead and play it and make sure that everything um, worked out. So let's go ahead and play it right here. Go to the beginning right here. We'll play it right here and see if it all worked out. So as you can see, boom, there you go. You've created this really, really cool RGB prism um, clone, of, clone freeze frame effect right there. It's definitely a really cool effect. Um, and that's what it looks like right here. So again, we'll go ahead and go frame by frame. So you can go one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Positions back to zero, and then hold it for an extra five frames. And there you go. You create this really cool effect. And this is what the final it looks like. I forgot to. You could also add some motion blur on top to help make help to help sell the effect a little bit more. And as you can see right here, this is what the final edit looks like right here. Obviously, we can spend a couple more hours on masking right here. But this is what the final edit looks like right here. I think it's definitely a really, really cool um, effect. And of course, there's a whole bunch of different ideas you can do um, with this effect. So there we go. That's pretty much the final edit. So you can go ahead and just create this effect. Pretty simple and pretty easy. But it's definitely a really cool and I think a really underestimated effect. Anyways, hopefully you found. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, the Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 150 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.